Okay, right, the wave changer. Um, I, I came up with this because when I was sat marking my, my tests, um, of course, one of the questions always is when you've when you've done sound, um, you know, it, the, 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 you know what, what what sort of wave is a sound wave? Okay, so we've done all the longitudinal, we've done all the transverse, um, and I thought I'd done a really really good job of explaining. Uh, one of the things I'd used was this this little animation which I really like from Kettering University in the states. And what I used to do with the kids, um, and I'll ask you to do it now, is if you look at what's that animation at the top, right, and pick a dot. Okay, it doesn't matter which, which dot you pick. Right? Just pick one dot and watch it. Okay, who's got one that goes all the way down the end and back? Nobody, isn't that fantastic? Right? And it doesn't make any difference which one you pick. They only move right, a little bit. I think that's really good. Um, so, you know, I've done a good job of, I th well, I thought I'd done a good job of teaching longitudinal waves and that sound was a longitudinal wave. Um, and then come the test, transverse. Ugh. Transverse, transverse. What, where was I going wrong? Of course, the, the obvious thing is that the kids get into the test. I've already done the longitudinal thing and then I'm asking them, you know, is it a transverse wave, a longitudinal wave? And they're gonna sit there thinking, yeah, that's so busy, what sort of wave was it? Because uh, he said something about his, the thing and he showed us the animation. And then every time after that, when he was talking about sound waves, he started drawing this thing on the board, like this. And he was labelling it across here like that. And he did that every time. He kept drawing this transverse wave. Do you think he's trying to fool us? Or have I just understood it wrong? No, it's a transverse wave. So one of the things I, I thought is, we, I never tell the students how we go from that longitudinal wave idea to the transverse wave. It just, I sort of, you know, I guess a lot of people do. You just sort of think, yeah, it's, you know, it's sort of obvious, it's, it's there, you, they'll work it out. So I came up with this, not my wave changer, just, um, to, to make this bit easier. So oh, it's very simple. And when, I've, when I use it with the kids after, after the first go, um, I, I don't actually get the whole thing out again. I just sort of flash the ruler up with the, with the pen on the end. So what we've got, we've got a, a slinky, right? And I usually have a couple of volunteers when I'm doing this, but um, we won't tax you today. I've got a, I've got a coat hanger. Um, and I attach the end of a metre rule uh, let's move that down a second. Okay. Usually just with a bit of tape to the slinky. Right? And on the other end of the meter rule, I've got a pen. Okay, and then I will need a volunteer. David, you want to come and give me a hand? Okay, do you want to go down this end? Okay, if you could put your hands together like that. Uh, no, I'm joking. It's all right. Okay, so what, you, what I want you to do is just slowly and gently pull the paper towards you. Okay, so I start talking about longitudinal waves, right? How they they might be loud with a big amplification, small. Okay, you get the idea. High frequency, low frequency. Okay, that's fine. We've got enough to be going on with there. There's my pen top. That's brilliant. Okay, so you get the idea. So I've got my longitudinal wave over here I'm talking about. And lo and behold, on my piece of paper, I end up with a transverse wave. 